What's black and white and super upsetting? This week's episode of... Welcome, I'm a big, fat, emotional mess, Yvonne de Kulo. And I am subtle black and white goth, Jay Gloom. I had promised myself since the beginning of this series that I was going to do some type of fish makeup, and somehow, this happened. 1812, your husband has just been shot. Mary Todd Lincoln realness, like a giant patriotic <laughs> mess. I'm gonna preface this whole entire episode with Upsetness. Yeah, that's the word. Tears. Constipation. We just came off of the wake of Robbie Turner heading home, which who's sad about? Not me, not you. We're fine, let's move on. This week's mini challenge was probably my favorite thing ever. Uh. Tops or bottoms. Can we just talk about the fact that Bryce was put at the bottom bunk? And Bryce is like, Bryce sounds like family, but Bryce is straight. Well, as Ruth said, it wasn't actually if you're like a top or a bottom. It was when presented with a bunk bed, would you prefer to sleep on the top bunk or the bottom bunk? This is like the RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Challenge. What bunk are you? I sleep on the floor. <laughs> I'm not invited to the slumber party. I like to sleep on the top bunk because it's closer to the ceiling and you can play with all the little pieces on the, the ceiling and you can throw it down at the people underneath you. Also. Can we talk about Murray Swanby? So many just wonderful boys. There. Peter Lee. Peter Lee was there. Who is looking even buffer than usual? I was like, good His God. His waist was snatched. Waist was here. The shoulders were here. The main challenge this week is to create some presidential campaigns. And I was really hoping the entire time that Sharon Needles would show up, considering that she was the last, I would say, elected drag president because she did win the, the last big drag president challenge. But she didn't show up, so I was sad. But you know who was referenced in a very big way? Detox! The entire runway was based off of Detox's finale look. This was a grayscale runway. I fucking did a grayscale last week. I can't wait until this season where it's like, this week it's a red runway. Okay, uh, bring maroon. We'll talk about the safe team first. And that was Kim and Naomi. Right from the get-go, it was very apparent in this episode that Kim G and Naomi were kind of like the Dita and the Chad, where it was just like, they're gonna be safe no matter what. That's not what the focus is on. The focus is on the drama, the characters that are really bringing it this season, and how they're going to either overcome that or fail from that. The funny thing is, though, there wasn't a lot of drama in this episode. No. They totally set it up to have like all this drama between Thorgy and Chi Chi and then all this drama between Bob and Derek. They even pulled that little clip from the Ratchet Drag thing which was very reminiscent of Fifi and Sharon with the Go Back to Party City thing. This episode was surprisingly drama free. Naomi and Kim Chi did a fine job. I liked Kim Chi's food references. My favorite thing about Kim Chi's was the no fats, no femmes, no Asian. It was so funny. And it was so like on point. It was clever. It was clever and I wish she would have brought a little more of that to her campaign thing. I feel like it took her a little while to get there. Like yeah. the first half was really slow and then it built up. Once she got, if she had just focused that whole thing on like those gay stereotypes on like no fats, no femmes, no Asians, but you can, you should vote for me because I understand your pain. I was like, that's it. Yeah. That's what your campaign should have been. You needed a better smear for Naomi. Speaking of Naomi, I really liked her whole campaign in general because it was just like, what else was Naomi going to do other than like the beauty obsessed, like it's got to be fabulous. Kim Chi's makeup was gorgeous I on the runway. It. I loved it so much. I was a little not wowed by her outfit. It was kind of the same to me as her neon look where the makeup was really fierce, but the outfit wasn't. And I feel like it wasn't really the best representation of what she can bring because Kim Chi is usually very conceptual from head to toe and I think from the neck down it wasn't much of a concept. I think the interesting thing about Kim Chi is that it is about the makeup with her. The outfits are an accessory. The outfit with Kim Chi is her makeup and her hair 
And then everything she's wearing on her body is an accessory to that. Okay. As walking art, it amazes me. Naomi brought a old raven look, which I appreciate the reference for. Like, we are referencing a queen in this episode. And why not bring out the most robbed queen and represent her? The Susan Lucci. I just wish that they had talked to her about that because we've never had an exact runway look come back on the main stage and I am surprised that they didn't say anything. Uh, Michelle wasn't there for that season so she wouldn't have known that outfit and Rue's got the memory of like a pea. He can't even remember what season any of these girls have been on, so I don't expect Rue to really remember, but I mean, I wish they had. Here's my issue with it. This was probably one of Naomi's most lauded looks, and she did look very, very good. But it wasn't hers! But it wasn't hers. I really am just having a problem, a continual problem with Naomi. I know everybody gags for her online, I know a lot of you who watch our videos just love her, but like, all the judges unanimously were like, this is amazing, the padding looks great, the body's right, the makeup's right, the hair's right, but it wasn't her. I've got more red flags than she does right now. I'm worried for Naomi. I don't like that that's her best look, it's somebody else's. Let's talk about the winning team, which was Bob and Derek, who I was worried about. I thought that they were not gonna be able to pull it out, and I thought it was gonna be like a very Fifi Sharon kind of thing, but Derek was really like, yeah, let's do this. Like, I want you to poke as much fun as you can at me and like, I'm gonna roll with it. And I really appreciated Derek's attitude. And I feel like Derek from the last episode to this one, like totally flipped around for me. And Derek is almost a completely different person and I can forgive all of the nonsense that's happened up until this point. And I just hope Derek can keep this momentum up. Yeah, it was totally a different person this episode, and I loved this Derek. This was a Derek that I had hoped for when I yeah. watched the Meet the Queens. I was like, I want to see what this queen can do. Yes, it's the Derek we always wanted. They sat down, and they just instantly gelled. They just gelled, yeah. And they were like, do you want to make fun of this thing of, that I do? Yeah, how about you make fun of this thing that I do? And they pulled it off, they worked together perfectly. It was no surprise that Bob's video was hilarious, but was. I was so, so surprised by Derek being able to pull it out because we saw Derek in that acting challenge and Derek was a horrible actress. And she pulled it out of herself and made it happen. And I was so impressed with that. Her smear campaign against Bob was great. I was so impressed with them this week was. as a team and doing the challenge. And it was a deserved it, double win. It, it wasn't was. like Bob carried Derek or that Derek carried Bob, which I don't even see happening. I don't know why those words came out of my mouth. But they both helped each other and I feel like yeah. it was a deserved double win. So now onto their runways. I enjoyed Bob's look. She had that amazingly painted mug. Her mug was beat. Side note, that is the most makeup Bob has worn possibly in her life. <laughs> side note, side note. That wig was everything, that and I want to see gorgeous. way more silhouettes of that. That wig was beautiful on her. Bob looks really good with just big hair. I love it. Also, I'm gonna clock the I was in full drag when I got arrested. <laughs> Derek's runway was really pretty. She looked very pretty, probably the prettiest that she has all season. My problem with Derek's look was she didn't put enough paint on her body, so her face looked good in grayscale and she did look very pretty. I would have liked to have seen something different with the hair. That's fair. I'm a little done with the down hair from Derek. I'd like to see some updos. But she didn't put enough paint on her body, so her chest and arms looked a little cadaver. The dress was cool. I think she kind of did it too soon. When Violet did it, she walked halfway down that runway, ripped off that belt and let you have it. It was, she yeah. let you enjoy the first look before she revealed the second one. Derek dropped Derek the cleared. a little too quick. She, yeah, she cleared it and went, look, it's a white one. <laughs> I do want to just throw a quick shout out to her video where she mentioned dropping acid with Betty and having orgies with Thorgy. That was the funniest line I think I heard all night long. So now let's move on to the bottom team, which was Thorgy and Chi Chi. These are two queens who I've been very excited to see from the very beginning. And to see them not do well and not succeed really was very upsetting. I feel like had they been a little more organized and thrown more shade, I feel like they would have been safe and we very well could have seen Kim Chi and Naomi lip sync. To me, Thorgy was a little bit like Jocelyn in the very first design challenge where it's just like, I love everything in my box. I'm going to use everything. And it was just like, Thorgy couldn't pick what she liked the best and so it was just 
this mess and there were a lot of missed opportunities I feel like because of that. But she totally missed the ball on the shade thing. However, I feel like in comparison, I felt like Chi Chi's video was just more of a flat failure. Mm -hmm. Like, other than, you know, the whole make sure everybody has a pot to piss in. It just felt really awkward watching and I didn't enjoy it at all. In my opinion, and I'm trying not to be biased because I do love them both. Yes. I thought, while Thorgy missed some marks, I thought overall... Thorgy performed better than Chi Chi. And as much as I love Kim Chi and I want her to be one of those queens that makes the top without having to lip sync, I almost feel like she should have been at the bottom with Chi Chi. I feel like... Kim Chi kind of missed the mark on the video. Rue really liked Kim Chi's video. Yes, Rue loved Kim the Chi. The judges, not so much, but Rue was laughing the entire yes. time. Rue was not laughing so much at Thorgy and um, Chi Chi's. The runways. Thorgy's runway was cute. It kind of reminded me of an off-brand of Violet's final look, her best drag ever look. It kind of reminded me of that. The Costume City mm -hmm. version, not Party City. Yeah. I think Carson hit it on the head. She just kind of looked like an undead boy George. Which was funny because I thought that Chi Chi also just looked dead. You need to have color, you need to have depth, and you need to make sure it is a monochrome color of your skin. Not just a bunch of ghost white with some harsh shading like Naomi did it right. Like, she looked like a believable black and white version of herself. Chi Chi looked dead. Mm -hmm. She looked like Night of the Living Diva. Chi Chi and Thorgy. And Thorgy. They both looked just dead. Their faces were white and then they didn't really do any, like, chromatic, monochromatic blush. No. They just did sharp contours and they just looked like cadavers. And I didn't really care for Chi Chi's dress. I thought it was kind of boring. It was cute. Me. I think the highlight of it was that glorious necklace. Rest in peace. Which she totally pulled the Latrice Royale on the main stage during that lip sync and it just shattered. Homage is left So right. funny. Detox, Raven, Latrice. So that lip sync, it was everything. That lip sync was fantastic and I personally feel like that should have been a double save. Like, fuck Nasha. She didn't even need to come back. We could have had a double save, and we could have saved Thorgy and Chi Chi, and then the world would have been okay again. I would like to talk to the sound editor of Drag Race and ask them what the hell they were thinking with that cut of that song. It was a mess. I don't, I don't know what happened. It was just like, let's start here, let's jump to this part, then this part, then this part, let's just make an awkward cut. Every once in a while, they have a song where they cut it, and you're like, it's going good, and they're building, and then all of a sudden, they just skip to the end of the song, and you're like, hi, you did not do that right. There was another way you could have cut that. I just want to pull out the receipts here, and say that Chi Chi has been in the bottom before already, and has been low almost every single episode, if not safe, has only won a single challenge, which is not enough to make up for all the bottoms, and being in the bottom, Two, Thorgy has been safe twice and high every other episode, and she went home. And I am not at peace with that. I think Chi Chi has this wonderful go get em, like I'm not giving up spirit about her, which I do really admire. And I feel like that's an energy that Chi Chi has brought with her whenever she has not done well. I truly believe that on Drag Race, the energy you put out is going to affect how you do. And I think out of nowhere, Thorgy kind of started putting out this attitude. Bitterness. Of bitterness. And, you know, maybe it mattered, maybe it didn't, but something tells me something about that factored into it. Mm -hmm. You know, just like, I feel like Katya always had that sort of stressed out, I'm not gonna get everything done attitude. But when she really let it take over her, that's when she started to do really badly. Mm -hmm. And that's when she went home. I'm still voting for Thorgy for Miss Congeniality. I am so extremely upset about Thorgy leaving because Thorgy is the, one of those queens that I was just like, you know what? I like you. I don't know why, but I like you. And I have loved her so much every single episode and I've wanted her to succeed. And then seeing her go home after she hasn't done badly. It's just like, it was like when Dela went home or when Katya went home. It's just like, this sucks. 
I think it's even worse than Katya or even Dela because Thorgy's never been anywhere near the bottom before. She's been safe to high and it's and she's always so close, but it's just it's it's between A and A plus and, and Bob is just A plus Got that all plus. season. And Thorgy's there, you know, and it's just Right. It just is really unfortunate that She's so close and she's done so well, and then out of nowhere she just goes home. I can't even justify it that Chi Chi on stage has that same vibe that Adore had. Because in the workroom, on stage, in the challenges, Adore was not ready. No. She was not ready for prime time. But there was something about her that you just saw. It didn't matter if she was in the workroom, if she was in the challenge, if she was on stage talking to the judges. You just saw that star power about Adore. And you mm -hmm. couldn't deny it. Like, even if you hated that she sent somebody else home, even if you hated that she was safe when somebody else wasn't, like, you couldn't deny Adore had it. Mm -hmm. And I don't consistently see that from Chi Chi. But I want to root for Chi Chi because, you know, she's an un she is a hardcore underdog. She is the season. most underdog that I think has ever been on the show. Hardcore. Before. Even more so than Adora in a lot of she's ways. She's on the same level as Shangela, I think. Because I want her to do well. But what else is she gonna bring? Mm -hmm. Like, she's She's not gonna win against Bob. At this point, Bob is pretty much secured that winning spot. Like, Bob has won three challenges, never been to the bottom, never lip sync, and provided Bob doesn't completely fuck up in the next episode. Bob's got this whole thing in the bag. Well, and that's the thing, like, look at what Chi Chi does compared to who all her competitors are. There's she's, no chance. There's no chance unless something goes real wrong. She's gonna knock any of them out. The fact that she knocked Thorgy out is just... It's surprising to me. Mind-blowing. You know what this elimination was very much like, in, in my opinion? It was very much like when Tatiana sent home Jessica Wilde who Jessica had been doing very well all season, and then just out of nowhere went home to Tatiana, who hadn't been doing great and been kind of at the bottom. And it, it, it's very, very much like that. I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Shocked and taken aback. Last final note before we wrap all this up. That daddy that was on the panel this week. Ooh. Next week is the ball, which I'm very excited about. The preview indicated that there's going to be three looks rather than last season where there were only two. And I feel like that's going to hurt someone like Chi Chi. And we know that Derek is not a seamstress, even though she hems that whole outfit. So I feel like Derek's not going to do too well. And I don't think that Bob is going to do too well. I think that Bob's time management skills are going to come up again. Mm -hmm. uh, and that might hurt Bob, but... It's funny because the New York queens seem like they have such a problem with time management, but New York is so classically famous for, like, getting everything done so fast. It's just like, what happened? Honest to goodness feelings about the remainder of this season. I will not be happy with the top three unless Bob and Kim Chi are in it. Maybe not both. I will accept one or the other, but, like, if my top three is Chi Chi, Naomi, and Derek, I will jump off this balcony. I am Done. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Victory Lab. Let us know what you thought about this week's episode. Who do you think is going to go home next week in the ball? Slash, who do you think is going to be our top four this year? Also, who is going to DragCon slash the finale? Both of us are. And that's it for this week. We'll be back next week, whether you want us to or not. Say goodbye to her.